Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul and I want to share with you all that not only am I going to share Dollar Tree items that are five quarters, <laughs> as I like to say the five quarter store, a dollar twenty-five. I'm also going to share with you some items that I picked up from the Dollar Plus section. Now, my Dollar Plus section sells for $3 and $5 if you're not familiar with the Dollar Plus section. It is basically a section inside the Dollar Tree store where they sell a little bit higher priced items. Sometimes the items are bigger. They're like a little bit better quality than what you would find in the dollar twenty-five. But of course, we always find amazing things for the dollar twenty-five as well. So also, if you do not have a dollar plus section in your Dollar Tree and there's items that you see that you may like, please try your family dollar. If you have a family dollar in your town or nearby, some of the stuff that is in the Dollar Plus section is available at the Family Dollar stores. Why? Because Dollar Tree bought out Family Dollar and that's the reason why they decided to bring in these three and five dollar items into the Dollar Tree because they're trying to compete with Five Below. So without further ado, let's go and get started. First thing I picked up are these sunglasses. Why? Because I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can keep track of visions in my mind. Who sings it? While she's deceiving me. Okay, I love these. Can I tell you? I absolutely love. Have I bought these before? Wildfire? Wildfire's here, by the way. I don't think so. I don't so. think so. They look very Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka? What do you think though? Do they look good on me? I'm 60, do they so look good with the with my face? I like them. Okay. Then I really like these that they're black, but I'm going to tell you, they're sunglasses, but look. I kind of feel like Roy Orbison in these. Because it's almost like it's is that making my eye look crooked? My eyes look cross. Why is this eye looking cross? It looks like I'm looking this way. <laughs> nine or nine. Oh, that's six. You guys, this eye is looking straight and this one is angled. Uh, but I'm not doing that. Look. Oh, maybe I am doing that. What's wrong with my eyes? They, rec <laughs> they recognize that quote. They're true, true friends. If they recognize what quote? Nine or nine. Or oh, that's six. Oh, I know what movie that's from. But no, seriously, look. But no. no, but seriously, I'm worried. Seriously. I'm concerned. What is this do? <laughs> these are you. Yeah, these are these are not going to work for me. That's a no go. Just, but <laughs> then they had the same style, but look. Now this is more sunglass like it's dark. I like Why that. didn't they do the dark? Like what is this? We don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what they almost look like? They almost look like the Blu-ray. Is that what they were called? What are they called? That they used to sell in the 80s on an infomercial? Right no, for thirty nine ninety nine. Oh, is it the Blu-ray? The Blu-ray or Blue blue Blockers or something. And they were like thirty nine ninety nine. You could only get them on the in infomercial. Anyway, there's that. I'm loving the white ones, though. Now, picked up these. I only picked up one. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but they were just too cute. These are shaped gift bags. In the shape of carrots. I'm sorry. The dog barking that you hear is my neighbors. They put the dog out to use the restroom and he hates it. He, well, she hates it. So she barks at the door until they let her back in. That is not one of my dogs. None of my dogs bark. No, I take that back. Ruffles barks like a lot. <laughs> Next up. Don't be fooled like I was. And I literally was on the phone with my cousin Anna today when I showed her these. And I was like. I didn't pick these up for the girls. I said, because they only had two of this one design and I feel really bad. And then that's when I noticed that you get two, two, two mints in one. So I saw this, then I saw, then I saw this, then I saw this. But there's another one that it, it's falling apart. So that's why I didn't bring it in here. So I was, I got these, this and this, right? So I bought this and then I bought these two. When in reality, you pick. So there is the pink bunny. 
And this one says, did somebody say Easter? But I'm going to tell you something about these. They're not, the paper is not glued on good. So the one that I have over there, the paper on the corner is completely coming off. Then there's your blue bunny. Go Tar Heels. That's like, that's definitely Carolina blue. And then this one says, follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Follow the bunny. He has chocolate. And then there's this purple one that says bunny, purple one, bunny kisses and Easter wishes. So there are those, but don't be fooled because like I said, I saw these two hanging like this and then I saw the two rabbits. So I grabbed four in total thinking that I had grabbed, <laughs> but there's actually three. So there's the blue bunny, the pink bunny, the purple bunny. I don't know. Do you think that there's any other colors? Did you like these wildfire? Mm -hmm. Are you going to want a set? Cause I didn't get you a set. No, I'm okay. Thank you. And their bunny butts are squished flat from being in the box. So you're going to have to fluff them up. And I don't even know if they'll fluff up, to be honest with you. I really don't know. Next up, I saw Happiness is Homemade for. I love Jennifer. She is the sweetest thing ever. I saw her haul these and I was like, <gasps> I hope I can find them because they're so stinking cute. There's this one that's kind of looking like over the little sign and it says Happy Easter and it's the little white bunny with the little purple bow tie and the little hands are like 3D to give it some extra effect. But then there's this one and this is the one that I fell in love with. It's a little brown bunny and it says Every Bunny Welcome and it's got a little blue bow tie and the fence on this one is like the natural wood and the fence on this one is like the whitewashed wood. So there are those if you're interested as well. By the way, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Know that I appreciate you stopping by and spending some time here with us on the channel. If you could, would you, could you please join the family by hitting that subscribe button down below. And also, I want to say that if you are new, I just want to share with you, Easter is my favorite holiday. So that's the reason why I get so excited for Easter items. Now, Next, I think I bought these last year, but I wasn't for sure. So I went ahead and picked up this one that says Hippity Hop, and it's got the floating little bunnies, and you can move them on the string so that they're even. So there's that one. And then this one is my absolute favorite. And I don't think, I think this is new this year, but I could be completely wrong. There's this one that says Easter Bunny Stop Here, but look at the bunnies on this one. I love the fact that this one has the little pink pom-pom tail. So stinking cute. And also, Happiness Homemade 4. She had a such a cute idea. These actually can slide off of these cardboard things. And you can use this in a tier tray. You can add it to different decor. And you can just get rid of the sign altogether. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I think I'm going to turn that one into tier tray decorations. That's my thought anyway. I know by the time you see this video, you're going to say, where is the Valentine's Day home decor video? I am so sorry. I still haven't taped it because I was waiting for a thing to come in to see if I could decorate my tree. And it came in and it was a disappointment. So um, probably I will share it, but it will be probably March when you get to see it. We shall see, but I'm still going to share with you guys. Next up, I picked up these candles. These are from the Dollar Plus section. They're a 14-ounce candle for $5. Now, that might be a little pricey, especially because these are Dollar Tree, like Greenbrier products. They do not have a lot of throw. There's not a lot of scent in them, okay? But this first one is called Egg Hunt, and it's this beautiful Carolina blue color. And now, here's the thing. With Egg Hunt, it doesn't say what the scent is. So, it is a three-wick candle. I can't tell you. So I'm going to pass this one to Wildfire so she can kind of give her description of what that is. It's very light, like oceany. Very pretty. Do you... Do it's, you? It's a fresh smell. That's what I was going to say. It's like, it's almost like a... Just like, getting out of the shower, like a bar of soap. That's no, the way what I I'm would, picking up. I would say more like a cotton linen kind of a smell like that kind of clean like super clean super pretty 
like fresh laundry, like, like fresh, fresh laundry or that's clothes what I'm lined getting. laundry type. That's thing? what I'm getting. Okay. But like a like cotton smell, like anything having to do with like cotton. That's what I smell, and it smells really good. I like it a put, lot. Put it on your side. There's the napkin for your drink, Mo. And then there's this one that's marshmallows and tulips. Now there it gives you the the name. Now I've got that. What is it called? Glue gun strip. Marshmallow and tulips, and it's this like baby pink color. It's also a three wick. They were really hard to get the lids off. That's also a three wick. I don't know what I'm smelling with this one, but I, I personally don't like it. I'm going to give it to Wildfire so she can give you her honest opinion of it. Because, again, my smell is completely off. At first, it does smell like fake makeup. But, again, I love it. When you Wait, when you say fake makeup, what do you do you mean the little makeup kits you, you would get as a child in the toy department? Yes. What part of it? The eyeshadow or all of it? Like the lipsticks. <laughs> Okay. okay. But it smells really it smells really good too, but it's more like to me it's more like a nostalgia thing. But this smells I think first too when you first open it, it's like overpowering, but then yes. when you let it sit for a minute for me anyway. I can smell the marshmallow, but I can also smell the floral, but the floral is this is a good floral if you're not a big floral person like me. I don't like the way flowers smell personally. Okay. That's just me. But That's very, cute. that that one is very like a uh, funeral home. Like yes. when you walk into a funeral home and there's like all the flowers around the casket and you get that smell see of the embalming fluid and the flowers. See, Senorita smell. That's, I was going to. It's not know, a, it's was, not a, was, listen, it's not a bad smell. Yeah. It's just that there's, it's the fl the overpowering flowers and mm -hmm. then you kind of get something that you're not so sure little, what it little is. Little sweet, little sweet. But it's like the embalming fluid leaking out like that. And there was a third one that was daffodils and grass or something in grass. It was green in color and I left it there because $5 and I couldn't stomach it. That's not to say that it's not a good smell, but with my sniffer the way it is, it just did not agree with me and I left it there. It, Marilyn, if you love it, that's, you know, that's your preference. That's fine. Everybody has their own, you know, taste. I'm loving white amber and silk from Scentsy. If you have not gotten it, you better get on it because as of March the 1st, it's gone. And we don't know if it's going to come back next fall and winter. Okay, now we're going to go on to Crafter Supply or Crafter Square. I finally found the beads with the buffalo check, the black, the cream, and the white, and then the little tassel. Can I tell you guys something? I love these. You can do a lot with them. You can see I have my K there hanging off of the gumball machine. I just wish they would put a little bit better tassel, like a better quality tassel than this. But it is $1.25. If you don't like the way the tassel looks, you can always decorate just like that, you know, over whatever it is that you're decorating. And that looks like a food bracelet. Right? I like it. And then you don't have to, you know, you don't have to show the tassel per se. So I picked up that. And then they had these. They had several different varieties to choose from. But I kind of like this. Like this is kind of like you can put your initial and then like a name and a name or something. I don't know. If you have a Cricut, if you don't have a Cricut, you can always go to Michael's and get the stickers with the letters. And you can DIY this up to something nice. I don't know. For all my DIYers out there, I know that you guys will find something great to do with that. Me personally, mine will be going back. Okay, because I, I don't need it. I, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do anything DIY with it. Next up, Wildfire has a new baby. Six months now? He's going to be seven. Going to be going to be seven in just a few days, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. She wants to instill in him a love for reading and a love for books. My mom was a school teacher. My mom loved books. My mom loved reading. Even up until her final days, she was reading. Um, it's something that I love doing. I wanted to instill that in my kids. And then, well, who would be here? No. Sorry, that's my oldest daughter's dogs. 
um, Wildfire is instilling that in her son. So I picked up these Easter books. The first one says The Wonderful Springtime, My Wonderful Springtime Friends. And this is uh, Little Bunny. Little Bunny. These are all from Binden, by the way, too. Then the next, now these are shaped. Can you see that they have like shapes to them? They're like cutouts. I'll show you the other ones that I got in a minute. So there's this one. Then next up is this one that's springtime with the llamas. Then there's this one that is springtime with the foxes. Oh, okay, I get it. These two go together. We go together like these two go together and then these two go together. This is my wonderful springtime friends too. This is the little chick and then this is the little bunny. Okay, so that makes more sense. I just thought all four of them went together since they were like cut out. There's those. Then I found these from Binden. This is the Easter Bunny's Big Day. The Easter Bunny's Big Day. Then I found this one, a very, very colorful Easter. Then there's this one that says Easter Morning. And then there's this one that says Easter Friends. So I thought those were really cute. And they're basically, you know, first time books, you know, when they're little. They're easy reads. But they're cute. And honestly, the illustration on these, I thought were really nice. Because sometimes they're bad. You know what I mean? Next up, let's go with the makeup department. I found this from uh, Le Mercier. Uh, this is a nude, smoky, shimmery eyeshadow with applicator. It is a quad, so you get four in general. Um, this is manufactured for and distributed by somebody called K7 Design Group out of Brooklyn, New York. But it's made in China. China. So I'm going to show you guys. Look. Right there, Brooklyn, New York. Right here. See it? China. Origin, China. Let me show you the colors, though. They're beautiful. See the colors? And they're like shimmery. And when I saw it in the store, I mean, I thought name brand. I had not heard of it. And so I was excited. But considering I don't, I'm scared, like, with your eyes, that's, that's a touchy subject right there, right? It is. Then my cousin Anna hauled some beautiful eyeshadows no sorry blushes from Ioni and I was looking for them and I did not find them but I did find these blushes from Ioni and she said yours are darker those are not the ones that I found and I was like mm, makes me sad so um this first one what color is this well okay I guess it's in that the first one is called Sophie and the other one is Billy Sophie and Billy look at the colors they are dark they almost look the same, though. But let me show you the packaging, okay? I'm not one that goes for things for packaging. Like, that's not my bag. But I am shocked at the packaging on this for $1.25. Look at that. That's really pretty. It's really pretty. I mean, it looks high-end, like you paid more than $1.25 for it. Let me open the other blush. This one is Billy, like Billy Eilish. Look at this. I mean, come on. Are you serious right now? Can I tell you guys something? I literally, 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 hey, literally, literally, I, I want to cut these and I want to use these as decor. I want to figure out how I can frame them. I want to make them decor pieces. Let me show you. I also found a face highlight. This is in Emma, this is a highlight. It doesn't say highlighter, it says highlight. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is making me miss my red hair. Look at that. Look at the green dress she's wearing. Are you kidding me? Then I got a face highlight and bronzer in Chloe. I guess I'm not even showing y'all the colors, right? Hold on. Here's the highlight. 
I want to take I want to, you to see them all together, so I'm gonna leave it out. Okay, and this is from the collection Makeup Gala. So it's Ioni, but it's Makeup Gala. Look at look at Chloe. Look at her dress. Can you imagine putting these honestly as artwork? Absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love them. The Sophie is a glam rose color. The Billy is a glam peach. Emma, the face highlight, is a glow up. It's an illumination, like it illuminates. And then Chloe is a gold glam. So I did not find the ones that my cousin Anna hauled. I fell in love with the peach one that she that she hauled. I will be looking for it. I'm more than sure that I will find it. It's just a matter of hunting. Sometimes you just have to hunt for things. And you know, sometimes it takes how long? 5,555 years. 5,555 years. But we will find them. So there's that. Now, this is a dollar plus item. I purchased this last year or two years ago, in the white, okay? And I will be honest with you because I c c keep it real. I was very disappointed when I took it out of the box and I put it together. It was Willy Wonka. It was just wonky. It was not sitting right. It just, it was just cheap. And I said, I'm not going to pay $5 for this. I mean, they should have sold this for $1.25, not the $5. Um... And of course, as you guys know, I found a beautiful wood tear tray from Dollar Tree. I'll try to find that video and I'll put in an iCard right here. That was an amazing buy. That one was amazing for five bucks. But I went ahead and gave them another chance. I didn't even realize this was the color that I picked up. Let me show you. I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to put it together, you and I, right now to see. Is it wonky? Is it worth the five dollars? The color is beautiful, no lie. But like I said, the other one looked really great too until I started putting it together. And then when I started putting it together, I mean, it was just, it was just horrible. It would not sit right. It was bent. It was, it wouldn't sit straight. So let's try this one. Although I'm already seeing on this bottom one, it doesn't even, mm -hmm. it, it looks like it's crooked. It is. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, for the $5, they could do a little bit better than what they're doing. So it's this beautiful, like, scalloped, you know, scroll work design. You tighten it up. It's not as bad as the white one. I will tell you that. The white one was really bad. What are your thoughts, Wildfire? No, you can see how it's wonky. It's like bent up. Do you see, do you guys see mm -hmm. that? Like it's like bent up. I don't know if you can bend it down. Did I fix it? I think I don't know because now it looks like some no. of it's like up. No, still. I didn't. I didn't fix it down. I didn't fix it at all. I can still see that it's got a curve to it. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful color. It's such a beautiful concept. But then, I mean, if you have stuff and you're like. Putting stuff around it, maybe. Like, maybe you won't you know, see it. Like how you decorate with like fluff and stuff like that. You could do something like that. Maybe it would cover it. But still, I don't know. But for five dollars, is it worth it to kind of? You're gonna have to do things to hide it. I don't know. What I are your mean, thoughts? If you like the color. I love the color. I wonder if you were to put like perfumes or something on it, like if you were just using it for decoration. If it would sit still, like down, it would fix itself. I mean, I guess once you start adding things to it, maybe you wouldn't see how wonky it is. Right? Maybe. I don't know, but here's what the box looks like in, in case you're interested. You should try the candles. See if that helps. <laughs> I think this is going to be something that goes viral, though. I think a lot of people are going to want that. I think so. And they had it in white. There was one in white. And I honestly thought this one that I had bought. Let me see the candles. Maybe it'll... I maybe thought it this one... It. See? I, look. 
I thought Same this black. one was in white. I literally was on FaceTime with my cousin Anna, and I said, wait a minute. I said, I thought I picked up a white one. I said, I got this beautiful green color, and I opened the, the box right here for her to see the color, and she was like, ooh, that's pretty, and I said, it is pretty. Now, Wildfire had a great idea. She said, put the candles on each side of it and see if that helps, and can I tell you, it actually flattened oh, no. it out. So what we need is probably the other two candles to put here. You you probably just need weight on it. Oh, so not all day. Just when I decorate it is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me get that out of the way. Next up, I also saw, saw Jennifer. Happiness. Happiness is homemade for. She's got a long name. She's got a long channel name. I also saw her haul these. And I was like, oh, please let me find them. Look at this. Welcome. Welcome to what? Cottontail Farms. This one has the pink truck with the eggs and the bunny. And then this one is welcome to our carrot patch. And it's got the blue truck with the little bunny. And one has the Easter eggs, which is the pink truck. And then the other one has uh, the carrots in the back. These are so stinking cute. I cannot even. So I had to get those. And then the next ones that I picked up, I feel like these are going to be very popular. Why? Because honestly... I feel like these you could get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Goods. Now, are they going to be the thin MDF ones? No. They're going to be a little bit thicker. And they're going to be probably a little bit bigger. They're going to be a lot more expensive than five quarters. But let me show you these. First, I'll show you this one. This one says locally grown carrot patch. Egg hunt and fresh products open daily. Fresh produce. Fresh product. Should it say fresh, fresh product? Open daily. Egg hunt. Should it say, say fresh product? I don't like that saying. Egg hunt and fresh product? I don't know, but the egg, the carrots are so cute with the bow wrapped around them. Locally grown. Egg hunt and fresh product. Open daily. And then there's this one. So stinking cute. This one looks like really high end, like bougie. I'm loving this one. This one says Easter egg farms. Bunny treats sold here. Oh, they're so stinking cute. I love this bunny. This is my favorite bunny. He is so stinking cute. And can I tell you something? I went to three Dollar Trees. All of them had tons of these. I only found one of this one. I was shocked. It's almost like they had them all on the metal peg. And what I'm thinking is that maybe these were in the front, so people were just grabbing these and didn't realize that there was this one behind it. And so this one ended up selling out. You know what I'm saying? I love it. And then the last things that I want to share with you before I close this whole video is I found the little very, very, very thin rugs. These are slip and fall. You'll hurt yourself. Don't do it that way. Use it somehow in decor, but not on the floor. And if you do use it on the floor, you need to put something down so that you don't step on it, go sliding, and crack your head open. But the first one is Easter Egg Hunting Club. I don't know if there was any other designs besides this one. And then I found this next one that I'm going to share with you. And it is Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes. It's this yellow one. This is my favorite out of the two. I really like this one. And that is it for this Dollar Tree haul, you all. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comment section down below. Please feel free to interact with one another. Talk to one another in the comment section down below. Read the comments. Interact in the comment section. Why? Because that's how we get to know each other better. That's how we become better friends. Also, could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, we would love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell next to it for notifications as to when I upload a new video. You all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, from Wildfire and myself, goodbye from Texas.